Hi everybody, this is Dennis, and I'm going to do the full review of Transformers. This is issue number one, um, under Image or Skybound um, Comics, which is great since they've got the license for it now. You know, wasn't really sure what to expect, but you know, I, I thought it kind of floundered under IDW, so I was definitely willing to see what they were going to do. Um, Daniel Warren Johnson is the uh, creator of it, and I've had a number of you uh, message me wanting me to do the full review on it, and I definitely did after I read it. Um, you know, it's the artwork, I'm just going to say as we go through it, I really enjoyed the uh, the artwork. I usually like a cleaner type of art, a super realistic one, but uh, I will say that this really kind of fit right in. It really kind of knocked my socks off. Uh, I like where this is going. So we get inter introduced to Spike and, you know, his dad. We get a, a little bit of, uh, of a background, you know, while you're sitting down going through it. Look, I even love the fact that, you know, they, they even did cool stuff on the side of a van instead of just making it van. To me, it's just going that a little bit of extra. He and his friend, you know, they want to go out and they're going to go look at the stars. And, of course, something happens. It falls through and boom. There it is. So those of you that either read the original series or if you watch the original cartoon, you're already going, yeah, I know where this is going. You know, been there, it's just going to be a rehash. You know, maybe they'll they'll twist a couple of things. Well, we see everybody, you know, broken up and kind of wrecked in this one. And, uh, you know, we see Jetfire. You know, I was like, oh, okay, so Jetfire now. So we can see that, you know, Teletran won, and he's he's explaining. They go through what's kind of been happening and what, what he's trying to do. They wind up bringing back Starscream. Ah, Starscream, my old friend. Here's the thing. When I'm doing this, I can't help but uh, um, hearing... All of the original, you know, voices, Frank and, uh, um, you know, when Optimus Prime speaks, you can't help but hear it in their voices. I mean, that that's how much this brings me uh, uh, back. I love it. Starscream, my old friend. I have not seen you for centuries. So I thought that was interesting because it, it's already a little bit different. Jetfire, and he basically goes through and he goes, look at that. He just literally blasts. Bumblebee right in the face. What are you doing? Don't you see the markings? I wear proudly on my wings. Wake up, old friend. We have been at war for the past hundred years, but stand aside and let me do what must be done. So it almost almost like Jetfire doesn't know what's, uh, what's going on. Uh, out of my way. This is madness. And he just blasts him. I mean, it's Starscream. You can hear his voice even saying all of this. Trust me when I say the markings is a sign of true evil. So they're not even saying, you know, like in the original ones, Autobots, Decepticons, is one good, is one bad? Is Are they just two different uh, forces that are viewing things from a different perspective? Nope. We're telling you now, out and outright, we are evil. We are evil. We are the bad guys. Oh, well, that's kind of black and white. And then, of course, never, and there you can hear Optimus Prime. And then, uh, you know, we get introduced to it. The uh, The fight scenes are cool. Um, <clears throat> he, <clears throat> excuse me, Prime sees the, the little ones. He doesn't know who they are yet. Like I said, this is starting from ground zero. And, uh, but yet he goes to try and tries to protect them. And uh, I think it's really great as Prime's trying to help everybody. He even sees his trailer. Um, and he's like, can you fit him in there? Oh, there's Soundwave. And he's just like, Optimus. He goes, look what's going on. And then he goes, Bumblebee? Oh, no. Oh, no. And the human, Spike, you know, notices it. And he sees that there's like real emotion in it. 
anyway, Starscream hops on them. They go for a big battle. Um, it's just really cool. Optimus is struggling right now. He's outnumbered. And the humans wind up pushing his gun, which, of course, was the gun from the original G1 toy, which I also really loved. Um, and bam. Transform, roll out, and, and I'm actually going to turn this sideways just because that's how it was drawn. And roll out. Wait, that's a cliff. You're driving off a cliff. Ah. Get it? Get it? So kind of cool. Like I said, guys, I, I'm, I'm not going to show you the very last page, but this is definitely uh, completely different. Uh, looks like poor old Jetfire there, you know, and it's a chick, chack, chick. Love it. And you can hear it. Starscream comes in to, uh, to wipe them out. And uh, anyway, I don't want to show you the last couple of pages because, guys, I want you to go out and, uh, and uh, pick this up. Um, this is cool. And then there's some ads in the back for uh, uh, the new G.I. Joe that they've got that's coming out. And then we flip it on the back. you got the Autobot, the Decepticon symbol. Uh, guys, you know, for me, the story has to capture me on you know, from the get-go. I thought this was just going to be a rehash or retelling, but it's not. They've changed stuff. If Bumblebee truly is dead, we will find out. They, apparently, they're not afraid to kill off characters, and this is definitely a lot more, we'll call it gruesome, you know, and I understand they're robots, and some of you might not think it's a big deal, but in my mind, it, it kind of is, because they're characters. Um... I love what they're doing with this. This first issue pulled me in. I love the story, the dialogue, the setting was exactly to form. Um, there was very little not to like about uh, about this book. Now, if you guys are upset because a character is going to die, well, I mean, that that's the thing. But overall, guys, I think this was a fantastic book. I am adding it to my pull list. And I can't wait to see where this one goes. I'm going to give it a CGC rating of uh, a 9.2. I think it's just great. And uh, I think you guys will like it. But as always, after you guys hit that like and subscribe button, leave your comments down below. Let me know your thoughts. Have you picked it up? Are you going to pick it up? And if you've read it, what did you guys think? Any surprises for you? Love to hear it. I'll also leave the link down below for Core Giraffe The Reckoning. We've only got about a, a week left, and we are going to pull it down so we can get this comic and the D&D uh, &D role playing game all set uh, to the printers so we can get it fulfilled. So, anyway, talk to you all real soon. Join us for our quick flips, full reviews, and on Wednesdays, we do a great interactive live stream. Um, with comic book artists and writers, and we always talk about comic uh, books and different topics. And you guys get to interact with us, so join us then. I look forward to talking to you all real soon.